I'm at the Donor Network of Arizona where they recover the corneas. Now, the cornea is the most frontal part of your eye, and if that part is too severely damaged, it could result in the need of a transplant, such as this one right here. Donations not only affect the recipients, but also the donor families. This one was Father's Day, a couple months before he passed away, doing his typical always made me laugh. <laughs> Becky Polite lost her son, Todd, two years ago after a tragic ATV accident. His family decided to donate his eyes. Of course, it's a very personal decision. Unfortunately, you're, you've lost your loved one, but knowing that in this loss, that person's be, been able to regain their sight, um, it's just a wonderful feeling. I really, really believe that what we do here makes a difference. Keely Hansen is a recovery coordinator at the Donor Network of Arizona. We help to, you know, restore sight and mobility and life. Kyle Crawford is a recent example. The damage to his cornea was so severe that his only option was a transplant. If I was looking at you directly, I, uh, I would see roughly six to eight of you smeared off into one direction. For a long time it was, you know, me always taking the kids to go do stuff and why isn't daddy coming or daddy sleeping and you know, that kind of stuff. After a successful left cornea transplant, Crawford went in for the right just two months ago. It's, it's been nice to, to see a change over the years come up and kind of getting him back to the way he used to be. Yeah, I'm very fortunate and very happy that uh, you know a, a program like this exists. Uh, they were able to provide me the, the ability to, to see my loved ones. Kind of see his eyes in there. Paulite says that his eyes were very unique and different. It's a part of him, she says, will live on. Even though he's gone in spirit, he's still helping other people. Polite did find where her son's donations went to, one here locally and also internationally. There have been about 40,000 cornea transplants last year in the U.S. alone. Reporting at the Donor Network of Arizona, I'm Christy Rochow.